Bipropellant RCS systems, do they go together with docking? Or with manned spaceflight? In a recent discussion, I asked about using a certain bipropellant system for RCS thrusters. I was actually thinking about it as fuel for an MMU jetpack or the scooter commonly imagined in science fiction, or for small orbital drones. Someone remarked that RCS thrusters are almost always monopropellant, sometimes ion engines, and generally extremely small. This immediately sounded wrong to me, so I looked it up, and it turns out that the R-4D thruster, which is used for the main RCS on the Apollo CSM and LM, the Space Shuttle, and the Orion capsule, is a bipropellant hypergol engine. The same is true of the smaller 100N thrusters used on the Japanese ISS logistics freighter forget the name, and the Draco thrusters used on the SpaceX Dragon. I couldn't figure out what fuel saw use and progress use. What these have in common, is, they are either man-rated, or, quasi-man-rated, i.e. they dock to an inhabited space station. They dock, or, at least, fly within range to be grabbed by a robotic arm. They are pretty large and heavy, and a significant mass-volume payload fraction is a fundamental driver of their design. Does this discrepancy indicate a distinction between a navigational and docking RCS? Is it more about performance? Or modern man-rating? I'm going to interpret your question as being, what factors drive the choice between bipropellant and monopropellant thruster systems for spacecraft maneuvering systems? If that's wrong, advise in a comment, and I'll delete this. This answer is a summary of the paper performance evaluation of spacecraft propulsion systems in relation to mission impulse requirements. A major factor in this trade space is the system-specific impulse, ISP, defined as the total impulse delivered by the propulsion system divided by the propulsion system mass, for chemical propulsion systems systems for small ISP, cold gas thruster system is the likely choice, for medium values of ISP, 1000 to 2000, a monopropellant system is the likely choice, for high values of ISP, 2000 plus, a bipropellant system is the likely choice, a very useful graph from the paper shows delta V required versus the mass fraction of the propellant system relative to the spacecraft, enter image description here the paper states in reference to this graph, I'm summarizing and paraphrasing, for delta V for delta V 150 meters per second for delta V greater than 650 meters per second, consider bipropellant, resistojet, and electric propulsion if you have an interest in the topic, I strongly suggest you read the paper, it's quite accessible and gives real-world spacecraft examples for different ISSPs and explains how it's calculated for the different system types, also, apart from factors discussed in the paper, real-world factors come into play for real systems, what engines are currently made and what do they cost, handling difficulties for the various propellants, etc. etc.